Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad, and uh, in this whole video we're going to look into Aquarius Sun, Moon and also Rising, uh, weekly tarot reading February 21st up until February 27th, uh, 2022nd, and uh, should you guys enjoy the content of this channel and you do wish to support us, just leave a like, subscribe and as well hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads nor a live streams as well. Alright, so let's make the cut and uh, see what you got. Now the first card for you Aquarius, uh, that is going to be the Five of uh, Pentacles, the Five of Wands, sorry, so it's the Five of Wands. Uh, followed by the second card here of the Knights of Wands. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the King of Cups, followed by uh, the Five of Swords. The fifth card for you, that is going to be Temperance. Okay, And uh, I do want to draw one more card for the Knights of uh, Wands here, so I can tell you a little bit more about that individual, and oh my god, we do have the tower, so that is a huge crush without a, any doubt, I mean, hands down, that one is uh, going to pretty much be um, blown away by, uh, by your presence, but how this is going to play out coming up in the reading. Alright Aquarius, so you can see your spread on the screen, and as fate would have it guys uh you are gonna have on a uh, some introduction here well it doesn't have to be just an introduction because it may play out in many many different ways but what one is certain you are going to spark an interest of somebody uh, an interest of this individual here that we have which is the uh knights of uh wands with the tower i mean that's such a big crush okay i mean that that one is gonna have a such a huge crush on you uh, it's uh the, for them the the pull and the drive is going to be literally uh insatiable towards you and uh that will happen through quite of a surprising circumstances and surprising events the, the way i think that is going to work out it is that by this point you are a bit unremarkable for each other uh, probably you have met very very recently or it is just through social media you exchange a few comments or a few text messages but nothing more nobody of you is thinking much of it by that point but there you go you do something or you say something here at the very initial stage of the week with uh, the five of uh, with the five of uh, wands and that sparks this individual interest to such a height that they just can't help it it is it is so big now these people knights of uh, wands and especially catalyzed by the tower they are a thrill seekers they are also a very very enterprising individuals they have a huge arsenal of a uh, surprises and all of them are really interesting and good surprises if i can say it that way and it's just they can't help it but move toward a uh, a fulcrums of interest and you are the biggest fulcrum of interest that they can find right now so you can expect at the start of the week uh, things to go not in an ordinary way what i mean is that the appearance of this individual is gonna throw your plans out of the window and that is not in a bad way that appearance is going to provoke a sudden turnaround especially into your romantic and relationship life and oh boy if you are happily married you are in a you are in a kind of trouble at that point should you give that person a incentive to think that they are important person for you so if you do not want to jeopardize your current relationship if you have any or or your current marriage if you are uh, if you are married just ignore very important because otherwise the smallest incentive you give to the knights of wands that you want to have something to to do with them that you do want to explore their intentions they're gonna catch it and uh, they're gonna grapple to it with uh, with everything they got and it is just afterwards very difficult for you to get rid of them that is because uh, these people, when they have an interest, they carry on to the very end. I mean, they, they just don't give up. And having the tower there, like I said, that will uh, kind of like... 
it's very difficult to explain feelings, but their feeling is going to be that if they don't have you, uh, their life is not worth living at that point. And that is because by this point they were a players, but now they see something that they can settle for, something meaning someone, meaning you in that particular case. Uh, and uh, I believe that they are going to suffuse you with compliments, uh, flatters, presents, even gifts, flowers, all these kind of things that may make you feel awkward at that point and uh, may make you feel that the whole, the whole situation here is out of hand, it's out of control, it's, it's inappropriate, you know what I mean? But if you have no romantic interest at that particular point, uh, I don't see that that is personally me because I am also rising Aquarius. Uh, I, I don't see why I, I personally should uh, deny or rather like ignore that person uh, because should we give them a um, an incentive here at the middle of the week they are going to not going to be able to resist anymore okay uh, and just offers us uh, a, a a proposal they're going to come up to us with a proposal probably to be together or to just go out on a date or you know hang out these kind of stuff but the proposal is going to carry on a huge message uh with the five of cups uh that proposal it's uh how can i put it into words that proposal it's something that's by the definition of the card there is no need for us or no reason at all for us to deny it and again that is if we do give an incentive for that Knight of Wands to chase us, because they are going to chase us. And they're going to try to, um, <clears throat> how can I put it into words, to make our life happier. It's, uh, it's very difficult to, like I said, to explain behavior and, and feelings, because you have to experience them first. Uh, but here with uh, with these cards, it seems that we are going to have somebody that uh, will crush on you like, uh, I don't know, like moon is crushing on earth and you know what that brings? It brings disaster because uh, at the start this interaction is going to be rather very tumultuous and we can see that with the five of swords here towards that leads us towards the end of the week and that is should we take on the offer? Because uh, with the Five of Swords, that is where everybody is trying to fight for uh, dominance in that interaction, in that relationship. And uh, although should you or should we as an Aquarius uh, try to establish dominance, we will. But on an expense of the feelings and enthusiasm and interest of the Knights of Wands that we have. Or should they try to exert dominance over us, they will also going to be able to. But again, on an expense of our interest, of uh, our emotions and uh, as well, you know, our drive. So here it's very important to maintain distance and to maintain boundaries. And it's going to be very difficult to do so. Because uh, should we decide to take on the offer, we will see how exciting the whole thing is. Because that's what the Knights of Wands brings. It brings exciting times. It brings exciting in, uh, interactions, exciting relationships. Something we are looking forward to to experience. Because every time we go out with them, they are always surprising us with something pleasant. And it's uh, the more we we interact with them, the more we fall for them. And not in a bad way, by a large margin. <clears throat> and uh, this tumultuous uh, experience that we are to have, should we take on this enterprise with the Knights of Wands, okay, is going to vaporize or disintegrate, should I say, uh, rather very quickly, because towards the end of the week, the week things are going to calm down uh in between us and that person with the temperance having it there at the at the end of the week we both are going to understand that overpowering the other it's not the way how you know the interaction is going to go for a long run maybe for a short one yes but not for a long run and we are to understand that uh, although we both have interest into one another 
they may have a bigger interest than us but still we both have an interest into one another uh we are different people okay we do have a different points of views we do have a different opinions we do have different ways of doing things and uh, thus uh, we are to realize we under we i mean we and the knights of wands is to uh, realize that we just have to respect each other is all that it takes we have to respect each other we have to respect respect each other's way and that way the whole interaction relationship partnership friendship is going to go for a very very long run because through that respect not just only we're gonna uh, find a an incentive to settle on a common ground with them but also that respect is going to lead to cons uh, to a um wow that word just jumped out of my mind solidarity and uh compassion toward one of us it is just that we are going to become liberal toward one another and uh there isn't anything better than that so what are the prospects in the long term uh interacting with the knights of wands well the prospects are really uh, a vitalized relationship and under vitalized i mean every time you do have different things to do there are uh, so many versatilities into it with an incentive to a lot for a lot of traveling with an incentive for a lot of parties dinners going out you know it's just that relationship is going to be always on the move and uh having the te the temperance at the end it pretty much means that compromises are not going to be difficult things for us to do uh one holiday we are gonna go with their pick for a destination the other holiday we are going to go with our pick for a destination uh one evening we are going to play the game they want the other evening we are going to play the game we want and so it's going to be a turnover of uh, of interests that can span for the rest of our lives so uh should we choose to though so that is that reading here kind of affects mostly people which are single or a Aquarius that are planning to pretty much change their romantic life from uh, uh, jumping from one relationship to another and the crush is coming and the good thing it is that the crush is going to be uh, on the other side for a change okay first the other person is going to crush on us and then we get to decide do we want to take on that or do we not and so with that being said that is uh, the aquarius reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like the guys and we are to see each other next time until then bye